What it do, homies? It's your boy Day back. I'm back today. We're back with some more GBB. It's time we're checking out Christy Odin. ODN. Let's go ahead and get it. Huh, I like his style. That jacket almost, almost, I really like that. The turtleneck too. Not everybody can pull off a turtleneck. He's, I, can I think he was silent recording, laying down those uh, sounds. Came from another land of loops, they should call the harmony. Okay. So tonight I won't do no drop and that's the plan where I belong. Let me show you how to do the same. Whatever brought old bro. Oh okay. I know this melody. This drop about to be nasty. Something's coming. Something's coming. Right? So come and take my Okay, okay. Slow. Oh. <laughs> Bring it the drums. Hey, this about, this about, this about to hit. <laughs> Shazam in the crowd, baby. Added another kick pattern in there, I think. Where that, where that bass at? There it is. Jimmy B, are you there? All right. All right, hold on, hold on. Before he keeps going, see. What I love about this is the simplicity of the beat that he's got going on, right? We kind of have our kick, we have our clear, our snap, and we have our, our, our snare and, and all that and everything. But the melody in the background ain't doing all these kind of crazy things, right? It's just do, 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 right? Just a simple kind of four bar measure over and over again. Uh, but the amount of energy that he's able to kind of capture with that, that's crazy, right? Uh, to be able to uh, write melodies that are catchy like that. I mean, I remember it. Right, da, 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 da. you got people who get paid big bucks to write like really, really catchy melodies, and some of them be like super complicated. Some of them don't even have any type of back back and track to it. It's literally just one instrument playing a single melody, but it could just be so catchy, right? So, prof to him because that's another thing when it comes to doing loop station is melody generation. Like that within itself is a skill. Um, we had the harmonization, which of course you need to know your scales in order to sing and harmonize with yourself. So we got that right there. Dude has an awesome voice. I can definitely kind of see him on like an R&B, right? He kind of definitely got that R&B about to take your lady kind of voice. I mean, I was sitting here listening to him sing and I was listening for like any type of pitchy because, you know, I know the conditions that they experience on that stage. I was listening for any pitching. This dude is rocking this right now. Imagine he's able to do all these things, you know, as as the other loop stationers. But the fact that they are operating with a handicap <laughs> and is still putting for, for and still putting forth a great uh, uh, performance. Come on now. Come on. These are masters of their craft, baby. Jimmy, are you there? My name is Freezy Lozer. I'm glad to be here. I reached another level. Okay. Thanks. It's not my time to fade away. Cause I must place in vain. My weakness is my strength. Right. I'm gonna press the button. Press and down. Press and down. Press and down. Okay, okay. Me that cash. I was gonna pay the price for it. The falsetto. 
Eyes right on the corner But all I see are pretty faces No really into bodies Just hit you and join the stage Right now I'm gonna press down, press down, oh. press down Four on the floor That was a, that's like one of the, definitely one of those, uh, with those performances where you kind of come away with a complete sense, right? That there wasn't just like every part, every drop, every kind of transition all felt connected instead of just moving it from one to one to another, another. Now, when he gave us that first melody, I kind of thought that he was going to work that, like the melody that he did, I thought he was going to work that into, you know, later on after he dropped his drums, but no, he just created a whole new type of melody and everything. Now that's absolutely fire. So we had like two, maybe three, four melodies, right? He had the bass of melody, he had that main melody, the and then, and, then, and then he was singing. Like it really, really felt like a performance that you hear on the radio, all while do all while managing different types of uh drum patterns and everything, right? Because I saw him lay down uh, another drum pattern. It was like he did it very quick and I was like, all right, he's probably gonna introduce that for variation down the road. And he did do that. Absolutely amazing. Um I don't know if I seen Chris the Odian. I mean, I'm not. I don't. I don't even recall seeing his name at, ever in my entire life, unless he just kind of went by Chris. But you guys know, out of all the videos I've done here, it's very possible that I've seen it. Preacher, sure one of you guys gonna be like, "Oh, you reacted to him during a wild card and whatnot." <laughs> I appreciate y'all, and if you made it to this end of this video, I appreciate you even more because that definitely helps my channel. All right, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.